I wanted to make a quick comparison video because there's a lot of uh, confusion, I guess you could say, about these TPI intakes. And uh, the short version is they're basically all the same. So here we have three of my random intakes that I have. Um, this is off of an 88. Uh, they're all, they have casting marks, so you can tell this is an 85. So we got first year, mid year, and then this is off of a 90. So this is the first year of the speed density set setups. Um, so we'll kind of just like look at some of the differences. And I mean, really, they're pretty much interchangeable. Um, so 85 and 88 are pretty much going to be exactly the same, right? So these both have provisions for the cold start injectors, which would actually be on this side. That would be this one, I think. I don't know, it's one of these. It has a provision for a cold start injector and for the EGR port. Um, and it's, you know, one of these down here at the runners. So then additionally, they're basically identical. Um, the, the mass airflow, or yeah, the mass airflow setups were pretty much the same from 85 to 88 as far as the intake itself went. Um, the 89s don't have the provision for the cold start injector because they deleted that that year. Um, so they look more like these plenums. So that would be EGR in that case. Um, so they look more like these plenums where we have a port down here on these. We don't have a port here on them. Uh, and then on the 88, same thing. 88 was the last year of the cold start injector. So then if you delete cold start, not a big deal. You can interchange them. The runners kind of have to match also. You know, they have uh, an additional tube. This is, I think, an EGR car or an EGR tube. But again, it looks the same on both sides. There's an EGR runner and a ninth injector runner. So you have to keep that in mind when you're piecing a setup together, if, if you piece a setup together. Um, and then, yeah, so the 85 or 89 to 92 basically look the same. There is one small difference though. Um, we'll flip this one around for comparison's sake. Since the 90 to 92 are speed density, they have an additional vacuum port, right? So as you can see on the 85 and the 88, that port is not there. They just have two vacuum ports because they didn't need the third dedicated vacuum port for the MAP sensor. Now, that being said, if you're piecing a setup together and you want to run speed density, you want to run a 7730 ECU, you don't want to deal with MAP sensor, all that good stuff, you can just run a vacuum T for the MAP sensor. It's better to have a dedicated line, but you can T off for one of the other things, or you can just um, use the a T for the map sensor. It doesn't really matter. As long as you get vacuum to the map sensor, preferably dedicated, it will run. Um, and like I said, they don't have the provisions for the cold start injector because that went away starting in 1989. So the 89 plenum is going to be kind of a one year only setup where it won't have the ninth injector runner provision. And then the bottom of the plenum is different. Um, and it won't have that extra vacuum port. Now, is that a big deal? Not really. Um, you know, you could just cap off the vacuum port. You could put a plug in it. You could run one of these with a ninth injector block off plate and a set of ninth injector runners. Doesn't really matter. Um, there's a lot of different options for it, but for the most part, these are really interchangeable. I just see a lot of questions and I have a lot of people ask me questions on, can I bolt this plenum up on my car, even though my car is this year and the plenum is this year? Uh, this should cover pretty much all the differences other than the cosmetic stuff, uh, which would be that there, the length of the fins. And I believe, this is actually one thing I don't know for sure, I believe the difference is Corvette versus F-Body, I think. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure because I know I've, I just sent out a an 88 plenum that had the short fins like this one did, and this is a 90. So it's not like a 90 and later specific thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's purely cosmetic anyway. There's no physical difference on the plenum. They're supposed to be there for cooling, but I mean, I don't really think that's what they actually do. I think it's just decorative. A lot of cars of this era had that. The LT1s had that. The um, 1UZ V8s and the, the Lexuses and the Toyotas, the 4-liter overhead cams, they have the same style intake. The Fords had it. You know, I think it was just the, the thing to do in the 90s and the 80s. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. hope this answers your questions. If you got more questions, leave them in the comments. I got all kinds of TPI stuff to talk about. So, yeah, thanks for watching.